Hey guys, this is the AI Druid here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I perform experiments with AI. Check out all the latest new tech relating to AI. Today I'm excited to show you how to create a video from a text prompt within Stable Diffusion um, using this new plugin called SDCN Animation. The SD stands for Stable Diffusion and the CN stands for Control Net. On the GitHub page here, you see they give some examples from the video to video uh, aspect of it very impressive as you can see here this is the original video uh, it's even gone as far as making a watercolor color painting uh, it looks very convincing and here's the text to video examples close-up of a flower uh, there's some other ones there I could go on for days um, so look it's a really really easy to use plugin it's so easy to install so to begin you're gonna want to open up your stable diffusion user interface Okay, so once that's loaded up, you're going to want to control click that URL there in the terminal. It opens up your user interface. Uh, you're going to want to go to extensions, install from URL, and I will paste uh, a link to this GitHub page in the description down below. At the moment, my YouTube page is not verified, so it won't let me post a link, but hopefully by the time you see this video, um, I will be verified and there will be a link in the description, but if not, I'm sure you can find it anyway. Uh, Volo Tat, the developer. Alexei Borsky, hopefully I pronounced your name right. Uh, thank you for creating this. It's, it's very effective. Uh, it's definitely the best text to video I have seen within Stable Diffusion. So anyway, you're going to want to copy this URL and you're going to want to paste it here. Now, because I already have this installed, um, it's going to say it's already installed, but if you don't have it installed, just click install here, give it a few seconds and across the bottom down here, it'll say plugin installed or, you know, something similar. You go to the install tab, check for updates and apply and restart user interface. And it's going to restart the user interface. Now, what I discovered you have to do also is open back up the terminal, control C, going to want to restart Stable Diffusion once again. Okay, so you're just going to want to hit control click on that URL once again. Stable Diffusion will then reopen. As you can see here, we have a new tab across the top, SDCN animation. So I'm going to click that. So by default, it opens on the vid to vid tab. Um, now I have been messing around with this a little bit. I couldn't get it to work effectively. So I had a look on the GitHub page. I've seen a few other people are having similar issues. Um, I think the developer may come out with an update that will resolve uh, the issues that people are having, including myself. So I won't be covering the vid to vid part in this video. So in this video, we're just going to be concentrating on the text to vid. So you can see here by default, it has a resolution of 768 by 512. It's automatically put in a negative prompt here. I'm going to leave it as is. And I'm going to type in something real simple. So uh, uh, man wearing uh, red suit walking down the street. Okay. I'm not sure if I needed that comma there, but look, it's only just an example video here. You can try it out yourself. Down the bottom here, we have video frames per second and we have length in frames. So if it's 12 frames per second uh, and I put this on 60 frames in length, it'll give us a five second video. So it's going to generate a five second video. So I'm going to hit generate here and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we can see it has created the first frame in our video. It is certainly a man wearing a red suit. Uh, he certainly looks like he's walking on a street. So I'm just going to wait a sec. Uh, we'll see the second frame has now been generated. And you can see the way it's working here. So it's created kind of a control net um, kind of picture here, I guess. And it's able to guess the motion. So... I'm going to leave it. 
it's now on the third frame of 60. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to be right back and we can have a look at the results. Right, guys, we are back. 60 frames rendered. Um, as you can see, this last frame here looks a bit different to the first frame. So I'm sure the video, five second video will be interesting. So to see your outputted video, you have to go to your stable diffusion uh, web UI folder, go to outputs, and then you're going to want to click on SDCN animation and you'll see a few things that I've created earlier in here as well as our video I just created. So um, this is the one we just created. So it should be five seconds long. Yeah, a bit mad. <laughs> uh, it certainly is interesting though. It, uh, the frames seem to flow relatively well. Um, in every frame, there's, there is certainly a man in a red suit. There's one even in the background here. Um, so I'm sure, look, you can experiment with this yourself and you probably create something a bit more interesting. Uh, I'll just show you some of the ones that I created earlier. So uh, this first one was cows in a field, uh, countryside, Norway, windmills. And I put the frames per second up to 30 and I made it 300. Uh, frames in length so uh, 10 second video approximately yeah certainly has cows in the field it certainly looks a bit like Norway there's some windmills also which I prompted um, this one was man in a suit dancing uh, holding a briefcase and <laughs> it looks very abstract uh, it concentrated certainly on the, the briefcase um, this one, nuclear explosion, lightning, uh, it's pretty cool. It's a lower frame rate, so it's the same frame rate I used in the example video there that we generated. Um, artificial intelligence, uh, I think I wrote Armageddon, possibly, you know, nice and positive. <laughs> uh, this next one, again, keeping with the positive themes, only three seconds long. Uh, Grim Reaper, um, nuclear fallout. And uh, that one went, up, went a bit quick there, so I'll just play it again. Yeah, it's certainly interesting. Uh, it's definitely the best text to video generator I've seen. And the best part of all, it's totally free. Um, so, yeah, best of luck. I hope this works out for you. If uh, if you run into any errors, um, leave them in the comments down below. I could have run into a similar error or issue. And uh, we'll try our best to get you going. Um, but it's very simple, very easy to do. You can type in anything you want here. Um, it's it's it is quite amazing to be honest. And like I said, best of all, it's free. So if you like the video, don't forget hit like um, on the video. Give me now a thumbs up. It goes does uh, well for me on the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't followed me already, be sure to follow. And see you in the next one.